From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your evening weather update. Weather looking absolutely beautiful on this Thursday late afternoon. Behind the cold front that brought the rain and thunderstorms to the area yesterday, check out the Arcticare Skycam network behind me here. Mostly clear skies, and we've been sunny through much of the day, but despite that, Temperatures have been on the cooler side compared to earlier in the week when we were into the lower 90s. We're in the upper 70s and the mid 80s as we head through late this afternoon. Only 79 degrees in Lawrenceburg, 76 in Hohenwald at this hour, 80 in Columbia. We're a little warmer down into Northwest Alabama though. We're coming in at 83 in Athens, 84 for both Florence and Decatur, 86 in Russell, still 90 just south of the viewing area in Hamilton though, but we will start to have this cooler and drier air continue to filter in as we head through tonight and the next few days thanks to this cold front moving into the area. Now we don't have any excessive cold air or anything like that coming in, but we do have lower humidity moving in and the air mass is slightly cooler than what we have been dealing with. And by the weekend, we're talking about highs only in the lower 80s, if not the 78 or 79 degree range for a few of us with morning lows in the upper 50s and the lower 60s, all the rain shift it down to the south and it's going to stay that way for the next few days but rain chances do start to come back to the forecast going into next week here's the future cast breakdown starting this evening just a few clouds from time to time but mostly clear skies dropping out of the 70s into the 60s as we head through the late evening and we'll be somewhere in the upper 50s to lower 60s for morning lows on our Friday morning around daybreak, but clouds will start to come back with the next upper level system rotating through, but no rain chances with that Friday, just partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies with a northwest wind still bringing in that drier low level air mass. Talking about low to mid 80s for daytime highs for a Friday afternoon, and then the clouds start to break up a bit as we head toward Friday evening. We'll be in the low to mid 70s as we start our Friday night high school football games. Weather looking just fine for that with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures dropping out of the 70s in through the 60s by fourth quarter and no rain chances around. So weather looking just fine for our Friday evening plans. Whether you're going to the high school football games or you're eating out at dinner, those clouds start to shift out of the way as we head into Saturday. Maybe some showers east of I-65, east of our viewing area over northeastern Alabama, southeastern Tennessee as we end to the weekend as this low pressure system develops on the front and kind of meanders there. But I do think these rain chances are going to stay off to the east of our local area. Our viewing area kind of stops at Giles County and Marshall County in Tennessee and Limestone and Morgan counties in Alabama. So I think showers over the weekend will be east of that over into the northeastern Alabama mountains. But shower chances do come back as we end into Tuesday and especially Wednesday and Thursday with another front that will bring even cooler air for the latter part of next week. So low to mid 80s for our Friday, lower 80s, if not upper 70s in a few spots over the weekend. Notice the morning lows in the lower 60s, if not the upper 50s and a few spots, but we do start to warm a little bit back toward the mid 80s as we get closer to the middle of next week ahead of the next cool front, but no excessively hot weather around here for at least the next seven to likely 14 days around here. We may have already gotten past the hottest part of the summer. I just don't want to say that for certain yet because we can still have warm weather all the way into October here across the Tennessee Valley. We're watching the tropics. We're getting closer to the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, which happens on September 10th. So we're active and Hurricane Lee is up to a category four hurricane this afternoon with maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour forecast to become a rare category five hurricane overnight into Friday. It continues to head west northwest. Now, don't take the Cat 4 forecast at face value. That's just because there will be eyewall replacement cycles and the intensity will fluctuate through the weekend into early next week back and forth between Category 4 and Category 5. And you just can't predict that kind of stuff days out ahead of time. As of how it looks right now, this still looks to curve northward off the east coast of the United States, but it may be a close call for Northern New England and the Canadian Maritimes. Watch that carefully. This does not look like a threat to the Gulf of Mexico. 
And then we have Tropical Storm Margo out in the eastern Atlantic. That looks to recurve. That's no threat to the United States, but we are nearing the peak of the season. We'll watch everything carefully for you. Mostly clear skies tonight. A light north wind of around 5 miles per hour dropping out of the 70s into the 60s this evening and then getting down to the upper 50s, lower 60s for our morning lows around daybreak. Warming into the low to mid 80s tomorrow afternoon, but an increase in cloud cover here at times won't be cloudy all day. I don't expect rain chances across southern middle Tennessee or northwest Alabama with daytime highs generally on both sides of the state line in the low to middle 80s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Dry through the weekend, dry all the way through Monday. Partly cloudy skies here, lower 80s over the weekend, if not upper 70s in a few spots. Morning lows in the lower 60s, some upper 50s thrown in as well. A little warmer Monday into Tuesday ahead of that next front back to the mid 80s. And then showers and a few thunderstorms possible for the middle, middle and latter part of next week as the front gets in here. And you'll notice by Wednesday and Thursday, daytime highs back into the upper 70s with morning lows behind the front back into the 50s. There's a look at your latest seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock with another check of your local weather.